Marvin Deach, uh, Lieutenant Junior Grade. We had, we were under training exercises. Really the only exposure I remember with the Russian ships uh, was at Istanbul in the Strait. We were sitting there uh, basically counting the Russian ships and getting pictures of them as they went through the Strait. That's the only time I remember. These were cargo ships. These were not military. So we were sort of doing an inventory, and I don't know who was getting the information, but we were sitting there in port, and, and, uh, and uh, but no, we didn't encounter uh, military uh, vessels of the Russians. We would see uh, transports. It was, the ship had a, a real history. Uh, been in many different conflicts, you know, uh, Korea and uh, built right at the end of World War II. Uh, I think it was just a, a typical example of, of uh, a ship and crews that were there uh, to perform a, a, a real serious duty of, uh, in defense of their country if needed. And I went through that grace period between you know, after Korea, and just at the beginning, I got out in 62, which they say is Vietnam. Well, that was the beginning, and I was in the Atlantic instead of Pacific. So, you know, I was really on easy street as far as not being in an actual combat. But uh, the ship, and we knew, you know, we were out doing live training, firing, and exercises uh, constantly. We ran the wheels off that ship for three years. And we came back into dry dock in Charleston at the end of my three years, and uh, I was busy uh, making sure that you know that all the ship uh, repairs that we needed uh, would actually get accomplished. But uh, the ship, you know, I uh, everything about it, I uh, I have respect. It was just one of many destroyers and, and crews. But we had a we had a, a group of people on there that from the reunions now that are relating. It was the one ship that they were on that they felt <coughs> personally attached to. They have a lot of good memories because of the men they worked with, and I have those same memories, and that's why I've made I don't know how many reunions now over a period of 16 years, 18 years. Like I say, it was a real cross-section. We had kit boys from the dairy farm, boys from the Bronx, you know, every, all nationalities, and uh, had some real interesting, crazy things when you had a, we had an all-male society. And it can be crazy on board ship. You do crazy things to keep your sanity, it seems like. But you remember that stuff. And uh, the, the reunions reflect the stories of people that came back, wanted to meet, we hadn't seen one another for 35 or 40 years and never figured we would. But they, when we got saw the reunion advertised, we decided this would be sort of neat to see what happened to these guys.